This episode is brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men. Get back your pride. Call them, 956-441-2188. Right now, let's introduce the producers. Rally, how you doing, sweetheart? Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? I'm doing good. What kind of... Uh, we, we do our classic t-shirts when Should we... Should we reveal now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's start so doing it. So I what do you got? I am wearing a Prince Purple Rain oh, t-shirt. I'm just going to get up just a little bit. Wow. That's a classic for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it inspired by the, the dude that sent in the picture last week or what? Yes. Yes. It was an inspiration. He had a back and front. Uh, it's, it was one of those sublimation. Sublimation t-shirts. Shirts. That, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. That means, means that even the, everything is like printed. The, it's not screen printed and it's not embroidered. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So it's like part of the fabric itself. Oh. Like the print is. Yeah. yeah. And we've also have Felicia. What's up, Felicia? Hello. How you doing, sweetheart? Good. I'm doing good. What kind of shirt do you got? I like it. I don't have a classic shirt. I have a body by chips and guac. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) There you go. That's what this body's made of. Yeah. (laughs) And white cloth. Yeah. Mine's made out of pan dulce and tamales and menudo and barbacoa. And forget about it. Used to be made out of Jack Daniels, man. You know, but not anymore. I actually love that shirt. Where did you get it? I actually actually got it at Five Below. Oh yeah, oh. they have. I don't know if you all have ever been to Five Below. They have a wall of T-shirts. Yeah, really. I got under it. five bucks. Yeah. Well, like they're okay. five bucks. Okay, I've seen them, and they have some really cool classic ones. Yeah, and, they've and got like some classic like cartoons. They have like some like they had one with like a skull and roses. Like they're actually pretty cool. I was like, wow. And they're Five Below. They're five bucks. Yeah. Wow. Body, body by chips and guac. What, what, your, what would you say your body's made out of, uh, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, when under 21 Fideo, because, uh, you know, I was at home. <laughs> and then pa- past my 20s, mostly tuna and Fritos. Okay. Plain original Fritos, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, cause we're, just, we're just talking how, about how we uh, we call all the chips Fritos. Yeah, know? everything's a free, everything's a Coke. What yeah. kind of Coke you want? A Sprite? Okay, yeah. let me get you that yeah. Coke. Yeah. <laughs> That's so Same true. thing with uh, cereal, postostes. Yeah, yeah. And you yep. want postostes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when, here you go. Those aren't the postostes I want. When when relatives come down from Illinois, Indiana, do you have a pop? A pop? <laughs> what is this, the nineteen fifties? You know, like a soda pop. Yeah. And Charlie says, only when I walk into a crowded building. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a, but I'm, well, you know, that's what they call it when a wrestler walks out. You and the crowd, pop. Pop, pop, they pop. So, you know, <laughs> trying to, hey, you should have said thanks, dude. Come Thank on. you for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what about you, uh, Charlie? What shirt you got on today? I'm wearing a shirt of one of my heroes, one of my childhood heroes. And when I'm having a bad day and I need a little bit of that mojo rising, <laughs> you is. I put on. I'll behave. <laughs> <laughs> I put on my Flash Gordon wow. shirt. Yeah. I love there, it. There you got it. Right Flash. Ah. Savior of the universe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that is a cool shirt, dude. I like it. It kind of reminds me of the Roddy Piper shirt. Yeah, the 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 stark between the white and the red. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's a good combination. The one that says Hot Rod on yep. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. I am wearing a classic Undertaker t-shirt, man. And it looks like it's from the American badass phase. You yeah. know when he wore a bandana, he would ride his... his Motorcycle and kick everybody's ass. It I, looks 3D. I really on like. The really, I really like. It's awesome. Uh, I like this era of the Undertaker. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, the last match that I saw that was in the graveyard. Again, he was the American badass. Yeah, he showed up in a motorcycle and all that. So this is this is really my favorite. I mean, I like the Undertaker and all that stuff, but but when he was just real, you know, mm-hmm. and it fit it fit the Attitude Era, yeah, you know, because it was you know a lot of attitude. And I was uh, watching a video of some wrestlers talking about you know the Undertaker, how he was and who he was, you know, yeah. and Tracy Smothers. You remember Tracy yeah, yeah. Smothers, who was a wrestler, Smoking a lot of you, guns. Yeah, a lot of you probably don't know the guy, but he's from the Southern area. 
Uh, he was uh, with the NWA and all that, and then he was with ECW with the Guido guy, right? Or that <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah that, that little. That, yeah, he was <laughs> yeah, a Guido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were called the, the Guidos, the uh, full blooded Italians. <laughs> yeah, it's when the Jersey short thing was going on, you know, and they yeah, were yeah. like, it's and the they were real F- funny. The full blooded Italians. Yeah, <laughs> the full blooded Italians. FBI. And you knew Tracy Smothers was not a full blooded Italian. <laughs> total redneck. A total redneck, but you know that was the irony of it, right? That yeah. was the comedy mm-hmm. of it, you know. <laughs> It's like Elizabeth Warren saying she's Indian. You know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so Tracy Smothers was, was saying that not many people realize that Undertaker was really a, a really biker badass guy. Yeah. And was uh, he was a bouncer at a bar here. He's from Texas originally. And he was a bouncer at a bar. And, and he saw Undertaker like beat up like five or six dudes at once. In the bar, it was like a bar fight. Wow! And so uh, it was very interesting. I was like, "Damn, dude, this dude was—he got a seven-foot guy. He's got muscle. I mean, well, it, he tattoos unst- on his neck, unstoppable." And-, <laughs> and the thing is, they used to say that they used to have wrestlers court. Like, let's say you and I were arguing about whatever, he would be the judge. Uh huh. Like, okay, what's your side? Okay, what's your side? And then he would decide, like, all right, Charlie, you got to pay him or whatever. You got you owe him yeah. a case of beer. And you had and to do he, that. And if he said it, that's it. Yeah. He spoke. Well, that's it. Judge right there. <laughs> Jury executioner. So I don't know if you all like them. I'm, I'm probably more than sure everybody likes the Undertaker gimmick better than the American Badass. But for me... I think the American badass, him showing up to the ring in these Harleys and these uh, customized motorcycles and yeah. a bandana and just a biker look. I, I love that, man. It was great. Roy, Her- Roy Hernandez says he's from Houston. That's right. He is. And H-Town. Uh, his real name. Mark. Mark. And uh, what's his last name? Callis. Mark Callis. And Callaway, no? Mark Callaway. Callis. Yeah, when he was a wrestler, he started off as Mean Mark Callis. But his name is Mark Calloway. Oh, yeah, Mark right. Calloway. Yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so let's see some of our fan T-shirts uh, that have been sent in. Yes. Yeah, so hashtag PBT Classic Tees from the fans. We're going to go ahead and get started with this first one. And thank you to Simon uh, Godina from Delavon, Wisconsin. He's wearing a Tron, a classic Tron T-shirt. <laughs> it looks really, really awesome. Um, we also have uh, Jason Borjas from La Feria, Texas, and he's wearing a classic Emilio Navaira yeah. shirt. Oh, that one's you know. really cool. It's like a live shot of uh-huh. Emilio. And then our really good friends, Felipe and Alex Menchaca from Ron Rock, uh, Texas. She's wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt and he's wearing a Dallas Cowboy, um, Dallas Cowboys jersey. So thank you guys so much for submitting those pictures to us. Yeah. Can y'all see them? Cool. Yeah. The yeah. The, the, the Emilio Navaira live album uh, t-shirt. Uh, did he have that made or did he buy it? I wonder, man. That's awesome. I don't know. But Jason Borja really, really cool. Texas. Yeah, man. And, Super duper cool. And then Simon Godina. Uh, I don't see him as a guy that would watch <laughs> Tron. I, I mean, <laughs> Simon, have you seen Tron? I mean, I'm not saying you haven't, but... It, it looks like it's not from your genre. <laughs> I saw it as a kid in the theater mm-hmm. at the Palm Plaza Theater in Westaco. I went to go see Tron. Did I was probably like I was probably like the only one in the theater, dude. Yeah. And I had no idea what was going on in that movie. You know, <laughs> it was a video game thing. It was like one of the yeah. very first video game movies. Uh-huh. It was almost like the move. It was a movie of remember that video take on me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think it was something like that. Like yeah. uh, it's uh, the, it's the people and then there's a computer and I don't I don't I couldn't follow it either. Oh, this guy but maybe yeah. Simon Go- Godina loved it. Well, uh, either that or he just told his son, "Trae una de tus t-shirts al closet, mijo." <laughs> me vale, <laughs> me vale cuál es la verdad, mi shirt. ¿Quién es ese tron? Tron. tron. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we have... Hasta el tronco? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have three more submissions. We have our really good friend Raymond Rose from Toronto, Canada. And he's wearing a Black Sabbath t-shirt. Oh, wow. It's really, really cool. That's awesome. And we have Dario Puig from Grand Prairie, Texas. He's wearing his Van Halen t-shirt. And then we have Ma- uh, Mario Fo- Flores from FAR, and he is wearing an NWO. Ooh. And the picture that he sent was with Scott Hall. So Scott Hall is right next to him. Wow. wow. That's awesome, that. dude. 
Mario uh, Dario Puig looks like a dude that would come out in that Rob Zombie movie or something. Or Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> or yeah. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, that looks like a mugshot, Dario. Is that no. a mugshot? I mean, you had your Van Halen shirt. Hey, call Renee Flores if you have any issues, It bro. looks like he's <laughs> rising from the swamp. <laughs> yeah. And that's Raymond Rose. Yes. Finally, well, I finally get to see Raymond. <laughs> yeah, that's Raymond Rose. The infamous man. Raymond Rose. Yeah, Black Sabbath, man. That's a classic shirt he's got on with Ozzy on I there. I like that font. And then, uh, well, Scott Hall, he looked like he was. Uh, he, hasta tronco. Hasta, hasta tronco el vato. 